Breaking news from President Trump. Did you support this? President Trump is definitely proving himself to be a much more ardent supporter of the military than the former occupant of the White House who shall go nameless, a truth we see is evident by the latest bill he just signed into law this week. Trump approved a budget of $700 billion for the military, which includes additional funds for missile defense systems, which is not a bad idea with crazy idiots like Kim Jong-un getting their grubby paws on nukes. However, while this definitely sounds like a step in the right direction toward rebuilding our military, there's a catch. This budget won't actually be effectual until lawmakers in Congress agree to roll back a 2011 law that placed super tight limits on federal spending, including the Defense Department. As of now, this hasn't happened yet. The law caps 2018 defense spending at $549 billion. Before he signed the bill at the White House, Trump called on Congress to finish the job and eliminate the cap on defense spending. I think it's going to happen, said the president, joined by Defense Secretary Jim Mattis, Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman General Joseph Dunford and other senior military leaders. We need our military. It's got to be perfecto. He urged Democrats in Congress to quit threatening to shut down the government and send clean funding and a clean funding bill to my desk that fully funds our great military. Protecting our country should always be a bipartisan issue, just like today's legislation. Our government is currently heading for a possible shutdown as the temporary funding authorized to keep it running is about to be depleted on December 22. Members of the GOP are in favor of easing the caps placed on spending for defense purposes, but Democrats want funds for other purposes. Trump commented after signing the bill, saying multiple provisions that go outside of defense spending is congressional overreach which infringes on his executive authority. President Trump also took a few moments during his signing of the bill to address Monday's attempted terror attack in a New York subway reiterating the call for an overhaul of U.S. immigration law, desiring to bring an end to the threat that radical Muslims pose to citizens here at home. The defense bill also makes an allotment for $634 billion to fund the core operations of the Pentagon with another $66 billion to be used for wartime missions in Afghanistan, which is spending that should have been unnecessary had our previous commander-in-chief not messed things up and allowed ISIS and other groups to rebuild in the region. The extra cash will go toward paying more troops, building new jet fighters, ships, and any other weapons needed to increase combat readiness. Our nation needs a strong military presence in order to keep countries like North Korea, who are doing their best to flex muscle and get a spot at the big boy table on the geopolitical stage, in line with international law and to prevent them from launching missiles at other, less prepared nations. We also need to actually take these newer resources and exterminate ISIS and other radical groups and sanction countries that harbor them so that we can keep a lid on these people and keep Americans safe and safe.